Hey, what is up, guys? It's Fatal here, and I have been doing a lot of, like, pop-out logos these days, and I'm also releasing another pack soon. I think I might add, like, two more to it. Um, but, yeah, the pack's gonna be released, and instead of hitting 15 likes, I'm gonna make it 25, because... Uh, 20, sorry. Because I hit them quite quickly that time, and these are just some of the ones that I'm gonna be releasing. So I'm gonna be releasing... Age, which got terminated, so I was guys. Uh, Banish, BCT, Cult, Sniping, Just, Ruse, Thrust, Valiant. So these are just some of the ones I'm going to release so far. You guys have already got my other pack. But I'm actually going to teach you how to make your own custom ones. So this is the one for Thrust. I'm actually going to teach you guys how I made this. It's it's actually really simple. Like It doesn't take very long. I make most of mine pack. I make my pack in about... A few hours so it doesn't actually take very long and um you guys are gonna need gold gold pack so you can literally just type into google uh, or youtube uh gold pack gold pack public pack and it'll be a video by obey reno i'm pretty sure so i'm actually gonna go check give me a minute gold's public pack here Oh, I hate when this bullshit comes up that I don't even watch. Seriously. Here, Reno Arts 2.5 Gold Pack. This is the one you want to get. So, that comes with heaps of good shit. And that's what we're going to be using for this tutorial. So, we're just going to start off. I'm just going to delete all this stuff. But I have the actual saved image as a reference. But, so let's get started. Now... I'm actually going to teach you how to make the pop-out logos yourself from scratch too. So, what you're going to need is, you're going to need your logo. So, I'm going to use Thrust, as I said before. And I also have two layer styles. I'm not going to go into detail with, uh, the, oops, not with the bloody, um, the, like, uh, settings and stuff. So, I'm just going to, I'm just going to, in the pack, I'm going to make another PSD for it that says, uh, for the styles that you have to do. I call them top and bot. Which I know which is which. So top is for Admiral Ray and bot is like the drop shadow and stuff. So I'm just going to get... Uh, which one was I doing? Here it is, thrust. And then you're going to want to drag your thrust into it, into PSD. And when I throw all my PSDs, I usually rotate them a bit. Like just a little bit on an angle so it looks a little nicer. And then um, you're going to have to bring it over a bit. And then you're going to click... You're going to transform it, and you're going to click this little button up here, so you can, like, wrap it and shit. And then, uh, you're going to click custom and then bulge, and it's going to go really retarded, so you're just going to want to change it down to 12. Or about, about 12 to 20 is the one that I use. And then, you can move it up a bit, or if it's too, like, close to your name. And I'm also going to, you guys don't know, uh, this font. You don't have to use my font, but you can use any you want. And I'm also going to... It's called cool, the setting. I called it that. It's really retarded. Anyways, um, so I'm just going to remove all those effects. Rasterize layer. Okay, and now um, what you want to do is you want to duplicate that layer of the logo. And you want to go to the first layer, transform it. And where it says W and H up here for width and height, you want to press down on the keypad to make them both 99%. And then what you want to do is this, this is the part that most people get complicated on. You want to click Control Shift Alt T, and I'll put that on the screen. So Control Shift Alt T, and we keep doing that until you can see your layers keep duplicating, but they're also getting smaller and smaller until it says Layer Copy Layer Two Copy Twenty One or whatever your thing is to Copy Twenty One, and then you want to click that and then hold Shift and click your bottom one, your first one, and you're gonna merge them. And as you can see, it looks really weird. So what you want to do is on your bottom layer, the one that you merged all of them with, you want to use the bot style. And then on the top one, you want to use the top style. And as you can see, it makes a drop shadow and an atom array and it really and puts depth depth to the 2D logo. So here you can compare the difference between them. Looks better. Anyways, so now what you want to do is you want to in your gold pack. You want to go to uh, where it says Game Stocks, Game Renders 2, and you want to get the one called Joker. And it's where he go it's where he looks like Super Psycho and shit, so it's pretty good. 
So we're gonna drag the inch thrust PSD. And you wanna size it down. So I oh, want to lower the opacity at first so you can see what you're doing. And you wanna size it down so that it's not too big, it's not too small, it's kind of in the middle and his arms kind of like go towards the outside of the logo and his shoulders are kind of in line with the edge of the logo. So here, his shoulders and his arms go out to the side. Sorry, I get spammed a lot. And um, so what you want to do is you want to put the opacity back up on that. Then you want to clipping mask it to the logo, to the top one. And then you want to clipping mask it to the bottom part. But you want to lower the opacity on that so you've still got like that shadow on it. As you can see here. And then what you want to do is you want to dupe the top one again, the one that's got 100% opacity. And you want to keep that above the logo that was here on the top one, on this part. And then um, what you want to do is you want to get your, your eraser and you want to use the brush that's opacity. It's like really faded because this is the best way to do custom logos, honestly. Take it from me, it's the best. So, I'm just going to go offline. Give me a minute. Otherwise, they're not going to stop spamming me. There. Okay. So, now, I'm going to just slowly brush this out. But, you want to keep in line with his arms so that just his arms are out. You can see here. And then, once you've, like, gotten rid of the square part, you can turn the opacity back up to see what you're doing. And then you want to kind of go where his armpit is, and you want to fade it out that way. And then you want to fade it at the bottom of his arms, so that it's still in line. And it looks similar to the other fade. But this is just personal preference. Okay, and now what you want to do is just completely get rid of it where, unless he's, un except for his mouth, so you want to fade around his arms, but keep his mouth there. And then you want to dupe that, duplicate that, so Control j then double click that, and it'll bring up the layer style, and you see here where it says advanced blending, and it says channels, you want to click, unclick the green, and it'll have like, you'll know it works because you'll get like a green fade underneath it. Now that's going to go away once we're finished, but what you want to do is you want to, whether the one that's got the green taken off of it, you want to click Control t to transform, and you want to click your arrow keys three times to the left and two times up but that's just personal preference of how how much you want to do it and then as you can see here then you're going to merge these two together so you hold shift on both of them and then merge layers and you get rid of the you get rid of the fade but you still got the um joker and you still got him like all rgb twitched and stuff and then what you want to do is you want to duplicate your joker again but this time you want to put him uh clipping mask onto it so he's like clipping mask now, so you put him under the clipping mask and it like continues the clipping mask like a train. And you just want to make him appear in the back of the logo and you want to keep duping it so it does that. So as you can see he kind of just appears in the back of your logo. But what we want to do is we want to dupe them both. And we want to do the same thing that we did to the RGB twitch. Wait, wait, I did something wrong there. Hmm, what did I do? That's not clipping mast. Oh, what do I did? Well, I guess not. We won't do that. And then, you want to re clipping mast that. So here, you've got your Joker. And then you want to duplicate the Joker again but make it really large as large as you want I usually do it about this size so you can see his face and stuff you want to make it so he takes up the whole of the background but he's still pretty large so you want to go down keep going so he's at the bottom layer you want to take up everything and then you want to come up to here to kill filter then blur and then field blur and you just want to click somewhere randomly, and it'll blur it out. Just give it a minute. Here. And you're gonna, okay. Just gonna blur that out. And you're gonna lower the opacity of that blurred layer.
and you lower the opacity and come back up here to the Joker that's not clipping mask. Nah. Okay guys, that's how you make a similar version of what I made, the custom Joker logo. But I think I RGB twitched a little bit more. But I hope you guys enjoyed. This has been Fatal. Peace.